In this video, we're going to look at how you can use VLOOKUP on your Google Form response page to pull data from another tab and bring data to the Form response tab that you don't have the user submit. So in this example, let's take a look at some data that we have. For instance, if we have some student data. We have an ID, a name, a grade, address. We could have more columns in here, but this is what we have to start. And when we use our form, we, are, we have a really simple form. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to go to the live form. And right now, all I'm collecting is just an ID. So when I, when I uh, bring in a set of data, uh, let, me, let me get rid of this here quickly. When I bring in a set of data, um, now if I were to use a VLOOKUP, I can find more information about a student just by looking up their ID. So for instance, let's see what happens if I submit a new form and I think all of my IDs are RxZ. So let's do an RxZ1004, for instance. And then let's come back and look at what happens. Well, I have this information. Now I could, I have a VLOOKUP here. What is a VLOOKUP? Well, it's a vertical lookup. And what, let's see what uh, the formula is telling us we're doing here. We're looking up a search key. And the search key in this example is B2. So I'm looking up the ID. My next section is the range and what I've done here is I actually have set up a named range so all of the data on columns A B C D on the students tab is a named range called student data so here I'm using student data and then the next section is indexing which means which column of data am I pulling back and then the last optional uh, uh, section is is sorted so that's the zero it could just as well be false you can use a one and a zero to be true and a one is true a zero is false and this is uh, indicates whether it's going to match the closest thing or an exact match so we're looking up uh, in this case we're looking up this ID and we're pulling back the student name. Now, what happens if I drag this formula down? Well, first of all, yeah, I do get I do get the different people, but what happens when you just use a simple VLOOKUP like this? Number one, you end up with these NA values. Well, we don't really want that. A simple solution for that is to wrap this if um, is NA, we can do a wrap on that. Then we would do a basic comma, another um, closing of, of it, and we actually get nothing. And I think that is because I meant to write if NA. And go ahead and hit enter. Then I get my Mary. Now, if I use that formula and drag it down, these NAs go away. However, what happens when we submit a new form? So let's come in here and submit another example. And we have R, RXZ1005. We'll go ahead and submit, take a look at our data, and, huh, it doesn't work. Oh, the formula is gone. Now notice the formula is here. The formula is gone. So the problem with doing this on the form response page is a new row gets submitted each time. And this row that actually has the formula on it that I copied down has been pushed down and there's no formula. So I would be forced to have to do that. And then I would see that that would pull back the correct name. However, that's not really what I want to do that's not going to be very functional. So we're going to want to do this a little bit differently. 
So what we're going to want to do instead is take this formula. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and go ahead and paste it. And that formula is still working. We're looking up the value in B2 in our array student data. And then we're looking for column two and it's going to be true. So, and if, and, and we're also wrapping it in the FNA. Now, if we take that formula and we do a command shift enter, control shift enter when we're in the formula, we can wrap that in a, an array formula. And if we do that with a single formula, what we would have to do is just make this uh, B2B. So we're looking in this range, and I'd probably go ahead and lock that range with a function F4. So we're going to look in the range of B2B. Then we're going to look in student data, pull back column two. And now notice with one single formula, I am successfully pulling in the list of names from the ID. So we wrap this in an array formula. Here, we're hand typing the formula and copying it down. And we can see now there's a formula in column seven. Let's see what happens when we submit another example. RxZ 1000. Six. Let's go ahead and submit that. Let's take a look. Aha! The array formula is functioning correctly, and I'm pulling in Michael Brown again with this new row here. I've lost my formula. I would have to copy that down. So you can see using a VLOOKUP wrapped in an array formula and wrapped in an IF NA so we can get rid of the NAs. Again, if we didn't have the NAs, let's see what happens. Get rid of that. And what you, what, what you have, um, got something wrong there. Yeah, we got a comma there that we don't need. And notice, so that works. We, but we get these NAs, which we don't want to have. So let's do an undo. Get up here, go to undo, and do an undo again. Now with this array formula, if NA, VLOOKUP, we are successfully pulling in the data. But if you come over here, notice I actually have a bunch of other data here. I'd like to pull that in as well. And there is a trick we can use to do that. So if we take this formula, first of all, I want to show you a little trick here. If you begin this formula with of uh, a virtual array and quotation mark we're going to call this name finished by a quotation mark and then we're going to use a semicolon and we're going to keep our formula in there and then we have to finish out our array with this uh, closed curly bracket now if i hit that that one formula brings in and then I'm going to drag that formula up here and now notice I have a header and I was able to build my header using this format and I still have a single formula let's see if it still works let's uh, look at another submission this is rxz 1007 we submit take a look and sure enough so this column doesn't really work. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. You, if you do a manual copying of the formula, you end up with a problem. So we don't want that. We'll delete that. So this is great. We are now are pulling in the data with a single formula. It's going to work as we add rows of data. We do that with an array formula, VLOOKUP. Again, this is our data set. But I'd really like to pull all this data across. So let's see how I might be able to do that. Um, I actually have a formula hidden here, and it looks like if I'm going to add more data, let's see, we have the name, and then we have the grade. So if I were to take my virtual array and add another column, and we'll call this grade, and I have to finish out that quote, and then instead of having bringing back row two, 
I'm going to use another virtual array and I'm going to pull back 2 comma 3 in that virtual array. Let's see what that does for us. And sure enough, now I have name and grade. And here in my hidden formula, I have the same formula, but I'm pulling back columns 2, 3, and 4 with my virtual array. So we can use a VLOOKUP, which we generally use to find one value, using this trick of having the output. Let's take a look at, at this example here, uh, well, our original example, where we were just pulling back column two. Okay, oops, must have missed something there. Oh, okay, so if we have two arrays here, so if we're just pulling back a single column, that works great. But if I want to pull back multiple columns, let me go ahead, insert a column right, and let's just change this formula. So we're going to pull in the name, comma, grade, comma, and it looks like we have address. And then, rather than just pulling in column two, we're pulling in with an array, column two, column three, column four. Another array, and pull that in, and there we go. We now have a single formula right here. We'll color this yellow. We have a single formula that is pulling in the data from our values over here. So we could have any values we want over here. We could have a student list that would have names, addresses, parent names, so forth and so on. And all we need to collect on the form, very simply, is the ID. Now, in, in our example, we could have add, added more information, ID. We had, maybe we're collecting test scores or things like that. But this is a, a great way to use a single formula to pull in the data from a second sheet using VLOOKUP, arrays, formula, and some virtual arrays, some array literals to solve our problem.